My name is Jim Thomas, and welcome to the Fitness Management Update. Our topic today is, do you have success apathy in your gym? And here's what we mean by this. There's a lot of gym owners, a lot of fitness center owners, a lot of operators out there that really had great success. And then over time, you know, these their numbers start to drop. Uh, they start to have, you know, not only member retention issues, but staff retention issues. And the business is not operating like it once did. And the first thing we want to remember, success is not guaranteed to anybody. The reality is, if you've had success in the past, what made you successful before is what's going to make you successful today. What I mean by that is you have to continue to follow those same basic fundamentals, those same principles. You can't get lazy with this. Here's some of the things that we see that happen many times for folks that do find themselves in that area of success apathy. The first one is poor communication. I mean, we start to take for granted that someone knows this or someone's going to have this. You need to have good systems of communication in place. And there's many ways you can do it and make sure, you know, as part of that whole system, you know, there's checks and balances in there as well with that communication. Make sure people know what those expectations are. Don't just assume that, you know, they're going to, you know, take it, understand it immediately. Next is accountability. No matter who it is, no matter how long they've been there, everyone needs to, to continue to be accountable. And you as an owner or you as a manager, you need to follow up. You need to inspect what you expect to make sure that these things are being done. Don't, again, don't just assume that it's happening. And this is the core problem when we run into success apathy. Next is you must keep this fun. And, you know, one of the ways to keep it fun is to make sure you're making money, make sure you know your sales staff is making sales, make sure they're trained. Again, we veer off course and quit doing some of these things. And then lastly, make sure you have a system in place. I mean, most most uh, facilities that have had success, they've done it because they have a, a, a defined system in place. And over time, we get off course on that and we start to rely on maybe some special talents of people that are working for us. Make sure that system is in place. Make sure you're following it. My name is Jim Thomas, and this has been the Fitness Management Update.